I'm going to show you a typical setup in the air conditioning and heating industry when you have a coil that has a two-way temperature control valve on it. This particular coil has a common two-way temperature control valve that has a characterized ball in it, right here, inside. Uh, that characterized ball makes for a really smooth flow from full open to full close and back and forth. In this setup, we have a manual balancing valve. So, with this particular coil, we have a temperature control valve that is modulating, and we have a manual balancing valve. The question comes up, what happens in the system when the pressures change? We're going to show you. Right here we have uh, about 10 pounds of pressure on the system going through the valve. And we have about 2 gallons a minute flowing. I'm going to increase the pressure with this regulator and we're going to show you what happens to the flow. Alright, here we go. I'm raising it up. We have 15 pounds. and You can already see we've gone above 2 gallons a minute. Now I'm going to hold steady on the flow and I'm going to continue to work the pressure regulator. Okay, we have 20 pounds on the gauge and about two and a half gallons a minute. There we go. Okay, I'm going to raise it some more. Okay. There's 25 pounds of pressure on the gauge. And we have almost three gallons a minute flow. I'm going to take it up to 30 pounds differential. All right, there we have 30 pounds differential. Temperature control valve is full open. And we're running over three gallons a minute. All right, that is what happens when the pressures fluctuate in a system when you have a manual balancing valve tied into a temperature control valve. Now I'm turning it down. I'm going to take it back down. Okay, we're going to take it to about 10 pounds differential. We have about two gallons a minute. Now I'm going to operate the thermostat and we're going to close the valve a little bit. Should be able to see that knob up there turning which is indicating the valve is closing off. There we go, it's turning. I'll take it down here and you can watch the flow drop as well. We're going to take it down to about one gallon a minute. Okay, there's one gallon a minute flow. The control valve is about 50% open or closed, whichever way you want to look at it. And we have about 11 pounds of differential pressure going through the system. Now I'm going to raise the pressure again. Here's the pressure raising. Twenty pounds differential. And we have risen above one gallon a minute. Now I'm going to take it up and hold steady on the gauge for flow. Twenty-five pounds differential. There's thirty pounds differential and you can see we have about a gallon and a half now. That's what happens in air conditioning and heating systems when you have in this case a really good temperature control valve but it's matched with a manual balancing valve. Whenever there's variations in incoming pressure you're going to get variations in the flow. And We all know that creates inefficiencies because in this business stability is efficiency. The more stable you can hold the flows the better.